Oh god, I'm kind of terrified. What's up, peoples? It's a terraformer playing the After Years, and Mute vs. Nova is today. Oh, well, we're starting out in a, is this a... I think I wasted that because there's a boss right there. So that's what he looks like. He is a charging chip with charging chuckles with spikes on his back. Yeah, or, well, I guess I could be more explicit with what I said there, but I was not. So yeah. Okay, there you are. Now you're glowing. I'm not really sure um, how I'm gonna hit you now because you're just moving too fast. So I'm just gonna not want to grab on there. Oh, I can't hit you in this form. Okay, well, that was explicit, and uh, oh, oh, now you're jumping. Oh no. Uh, because eventually these floors are gonna give way, and I don't want to, like, yeah, do something else that's not- Oh, you, you're pooping stars now. That's- that's never a good sign, because you, you gotta see your optometrist about that, dude, and the stars are, like, they're eeries. Okay. Did I hit you? Because it looks like you made another phase. That's not what I wanted to do. Is the jump height, like, slower now? Do I have to jump on you now? Because it's kind of unclear a little bit. Yes, I did. Okay, well, let's just... I, I seem to be doing decent. I, I, don't, I don't know if I can say good. Yeah, I'm not really sure which one it is, and if I mess it up, then I lose health. So, you're shooting projectiles now, does that mean you're you're also following me? Should I just go for it? I'm kind of afraid. Uh, now you're jumping. Oh no. You're inside of me, dude, but you have invincibility frames, so you're- oh crap. Now you're being weird. Yay, I did the right thing! I did not- oh crap, did I- was that correct? Did I just double up your invincibility time? Not sure which one you are now, so I'm just gonna... Uh... Get out of me, sir. No. No, that wasn't the right one to do. Uh... How do I feel about that? I... It'd be fine if it had indications and I didn't waste my mushroom in the beginning. I think you're... yeah, that. Okay, because once you start doing this, then you're kind of insane. Oh, crap. Uh, yay! You're, you're now thing. I, I don't know. Uh, oh god. There is a generator going on. I need to not jump directly into a flame. I can't tell what it is, and if I try and do it, then I die, and that's not fair. No, you're hoppable now. How was I supposed to know? Uh, uh, you're doing stuff, you're doing stuff. Uh, no, that's not the right thing. I don't... Oh no, come on, laptop. Not now. What, really? Are you kidding me? Where are your things coming from, buddy? Because they're not always from you. Is it automatically... <laughs> yeah, because there was nowhere I could go. I don't know which form you're on. So, yeah, I'm just going to get hit by you because I don't know what to do. So there's no clear indication of which take damage you take, so... so are you- what the hell is that?! Yeah, of- Oh god. <laughs> I'm only about halfway done with this because I suck so much. Guessing you're in the jump on top of you phase again, which oh, that was the last hit. <laughs> oh, 
No way, but how? I can't be fading away. I cannot lose. This cannot be. Oh! Mute lays on the ground, painfully witnesses Nova halfway gone and continuing to fade. If I have to perish, then so will you. The Mushroom Kingdom will never be saved. This will. This is simply just the fate of the Mushroom Kingdom. Nova then fades away, completely existing no more. As Nova fades away, the area begins to rumble. As Nova's base begins to crumble down slowly, is this my fate? Was I meant to come this far only to die here? Is there a happy ending to this? There's another level. The escape is a level I didn't expect. <laughs> Are you alive? <laughs> Wake up, I've come to rescue you. Slowly opens his eyes. When they were fully opened, he saw a pair of red shoes standing in front of him. He then looks up and is surprised to see what's in front of him. Y Yoshi? Yoshi! Mute, I came here to rescue you. Right on my back, and I'll take you out of here. Yoshi, you came. Hurry, Mute, it's dangerous here. Yoshi will take you to safety. And also talk in the third person. Mute struggles to get from the ground, but manages to get onto the Yoshi. Yoshi. Oh no, what's... Oh, it, it, it's that, like, sound again where, like, it's a Yoshi egg being hatched, but it's also not, technically. Yeah. <laughs> I need Yoshi here. It's pretty obvious. Good thing I'm only taking damage here, because I need to do things like that, and also things that I've done. I'm gonna die pretty soon, but now it's a little prolonged. So yeah, I wasn't expecting a level after this, but that's that's perfectly alright with me, because I, I need it kind of a... a um, What's that called? I, I needed something to do after that boss fight, which it wasn't bad. It was just like, I feel there was too much in the way of how are you supposed to know besides play it and die. And there's really no way to do that on your first try. Thank you, I needed that. I was about to fall perishables. Yes, I, I need to, like, hurry here, also, like, do my best to survive and stuff. Oh, crap. Sorry, Yoshi, I hope I don't need you. Saying that, I pretty much know I need you, so... Let's go faster. I need it, Yoshi. I also didn't have enough health to just to survive that. I got hit by a bullet, I think, or something. Ah, uh, okay, am I past where I was? No, I'm not. Maybe? Uh, oh, well, that's not right. Like, come on now, really? Yeah, I don't really feel too kindly about that. Oh, I need to Yoshi ride. Cool, hooray, we're escaping the base. And, yep, yeah, that, that's what happened. We flew away. Thank you. I truly owe you my life. But why did you come for me? When I first saw you at the volcano, I thought you want, wanted to hurt Yoshi. But then, you asked for Yoshi's help, so I got you to pass the volcano. Not too long after I saw you take on the volcano monster and defeated it, Yoshi never got a chance to thank you for getting rid of the volcano monster, so I tried to follow you here, but you took off too fast. But about time, I f found you. I saw you go through something in the Sky Palace, so I followed. That's when I found out you were trying to save the Mushroom Kingdom all along. That's when Yoshi wanted to try his hardest and fight to save Mushroom Kingdom as well. About time, I took care of some some of the mean man, man's troops that when Yoshi encountered you fighting, that mean no good man. 
So, you came all the way to Nova's hideout to thank me and fight for the Mushroom Kingdom, huh? Mute pets Yoshi on the head. You really are a hero, big guy. It was an honor to be able to save your land. Your land, that's right, the Mushroom Kingdom. Hey Yoshi, do you think you can take me there? Yoshi! They takes off at a speed. Mute and Yoshi finally reach the Mushroom Kingdom in one piece. As they arrive there, they both see Princess Sio and Lumen standing in front of the kingdom, waving. Mute looks behind both of them and notices notice that the kingdom happened to be alright, but damaged in a few spots on the roof, but nothing a little repair can fix. Mute gets down from Yoshi. Hey, I'm back. Both Seal and Lumen head towards both Mute and Yoshi. Mute had never seen Seal smiling so brightly, at least not since his arrival. Mute, you've returned. Well, I did say I would, didn't I? Seal quickly jolts into Mute's arms, giving him a great warm hug. It almost startled Mute a bit. Mute, you saved us and saved the Mushroom Kingdom. Seal detached herself from Mute and gives him a cheek. <laughs> gives him a cheek on the kiss. Yes, thank you. My mother would be very pleased. Better yet, Mario would be happy to see a young man following in his footsteps. I don't know how I could ever repay you. You don't have to repay me, Seal. I wanted to do this. Besides, I didn't just save the Mushroom Kingdom. We all did. We all had our part to play in this journey. But you've played the most important part of them all, which was defeating Nova. Nobody put... Nobody but yourself could have accomplished that, except for Mario, but he couldn't. That's true, I suppose. But without your encouragement, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Anyways, I see the Mushroom Kingdom is still standing. Yes, we've managed to fend them off just barely. All the Toads, Lumen, and I are okay, thankfully. I'm glad everybody is okay. Better yet, I'm glad it's all finally over. Now, it's over and Mushroom Kingdom is safe. I guess this is goodbye. Alright. Bows. It's been an honor having you to fight alongside of us. I'll truly never forget you. I won't either. Likewise, ladies. Yoshi will fly you home, mute. Oh, right. I guess this is goodbye. Both Seal and Lumen nod as Mute turns to get on Yoshi. Farewell, Mute. Bye. Whenever you're ready, Mute, just say the word. Yoshi will take off flying. Mute waits on Yoshi for a few minutes, then gets off. He sees Bolt Seal and Lumen heading back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Wait. Bolt Seal and Lumen turn around to face Mute. Don't you guys realize? I'm already here. Already here? You guys, the Mushroom Kingdom is my home now. Don't you have a real home and a family to go to? What would your mother say? My mother was always the one who told me I should follow my dreams, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I dreamed that I would be just like Mario, so I should follow it until I feel it'll never come true. Well, there's always antagonists trying to take over the Mushroom Kingdom, which is why I should stick around. What do you say, Seal? Well, your mother did tell you that you should follow your dreams. Who am I to stop you? Seal begins walking back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Come, let me show you your new room. I'm I'm glad you decided to stay mute. Lumen catches up with Seal. Yeah, same here. So I did it, huh? I defeated my brother. Nova looks up to the sky. I wish things could have been different, brother. I'm sorry it happened like this. I truly am. After a long, dreadful journey, the young born to the hero from the sunny islands had finally put an end to Nova, saving the Mushroom Kingdom. Many lives were lost and many islands were destroyed, but after the long, dreadful battle, the conflict was finally resolved, leaving the heroes of the Mushroom Kingdom victorious. As Princess Steel stated, there will always be antagonists trying to take over the Mushroom Kingdom, but Steel knew, as long as they hung on to the courage and bravery that they would overcome any obstacle in their way. Nobody knew what the future held, but they weren't too concerned. It was about time the Mushroom Kingdom made up for their lost times. 
Okay, so I apologize for my reading there. I should have took the Advil before my recording. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was a that was a pretty neat end level thing. The boss, it, you know, it, it wasn't as long as I thought it was. So I guess that that will that will work out in that way. But I still don't really like when you have two different ways to attack the boss and you don't really know which one it is. And one of them involves getting taking damage if you pick the wrong time to do so. So yeah, uh, the project as a whole, I really liked it. I thought it was a really great um, first hack, I, a lot better than some first hacks that, you know, there there was minor errors here and there, but nothing that was too major, and I, I feel it went good. Good job, evil guy. And also, the Yoshi one should be out for whatever C3, whatever that is. Uh, well, I know kind of what it is. It's the, the thing for the thing in the SMC thing. But yeah, that, that'll, that'll be out. And I think it's like Yoshi's journey during this whole, like, his point of view type thing, so I think that's pretty cool, but he also looks a little different, so I'm not really sure how that works out. <laughs> See you guys.